Hey everybody, let's talk PlayStation Homebrew News. So the very latest thing is, is that Flats has achieved UMTX code execution on a PlayStation 5 7.61 through BD-JB. Now I mentioned it last night on Twitter and I thought we would go ahead and take a look at the thread. So initially over here in Discord, there is a PS5 research and development server, and Lance wrote right here, he said, just tested 7.61, and it seems to work, and this is obviously using BD-JB, especially if you've played with this in the past, and then down here, there is a bit of debug or output information that looks like it is completely jailbroken. Now, he did write in here that he just needs to improve the speed somehow. But what I would at least expect out of this is, is that if you were on 7.61 or really under now at this point, you would be able to at least get the debug settings option appearing on your PlayStation 5. With eventually things such as fake packages, I would assume would be coming there as well. Now he did write in here that I don't like WebKit and especially the JavaScript framework and that was why he used BDJ but it doesn't look like he is very happy with the performance so far. Now he did state down in here talking about some of the hypervisor work that if the guy decides to describe the method he found initially, the one that works for basically anything under a 5.0 firmware, I'll include the implementation in my BDJ code. And the person that I do believe that he is referring to there is this Shuffle 2, which is part of Fell Overflow that originally released the PS5 UMTX DBG, which is what eventually Flats released the proof of concept for. So I do believe it is this person right here. Okay, so I saw a ton of people screenshot this last time that I did it, so I'm bringing it back today. Here is a kind of a roundup of everything. So we just discussed this latest news of Flats that has achieved UMTX code execution on 7.61 through BDJB. And then as far as the hypervisor exploits, a couple of things has happened here. So obviously we have the one from SpectreDev that has a hypervisor exploit. And it currently works on 1.x and 2.x only. And the release date on this one is going to be tied to hardware.io. The last time that I did this, I did not know, but I did speculate it was going to be a security conference, and obviously we found out that it was. Then for the date is going to be October the 24th, and I did look at the schedule over here on hardware.io, and for his talk is going to be called Bopervisor, how we broke the PS5 hypervisor, and that one is going to be appearing on the conference day one of 24th of October. Now, if we go into this abstract here, what we can see is, is that furthermore, we will release scripts to assist in reverse engineering the system, which will be made publicly available following the presentation. So we know that that October the 24th date is going to be when we get it. And then we got an update from the hypervisor exploit that Flats was talking about that worked on 3.21, I believe it was. Now, basically, we know that that's going to work up to 4.51. So again, super great news for all of us that's on versions like 4.03, which is what I've been on for quite some time now, to be able to know that we will be getting a hypervisor exploit at some point as well. Now, again, this is the one where the best guess on the release here is whenever the person named Shuffle2, which is who I assume that this is, releases the write-up. And again, they are from Fell Overflow. So as soon as they release their write-up, Flats has obviously already stated that he would be more than happy to release that information. Now, the other thing here is, is that Flats on Twitter or X 
as released this other method that talked about using APIC, APSC, and that does stand for Advanced Programmable Interrupt Controller. And then we have a jar loader, which was released by Hammer83. And so with the jar loader, you can do things like spin up an FTP site. There is a tennis game and there is a few other minor things you could do with it. Now, there is a special UMTX build. And if you just head over to the GitHub repo here and scroll down a little bit, you can see right there it's called UMTX. 1.0 snapshot. Now, this one was updated last week, and then the main release builds have been released, you know, right around two weeks ago, and we're still setting on 2.00. And then the last thing is, is that there is this Lua loader. I do have a video here on the channel if you want to see it in action, but it's called Artemis Lua Loader, and all this allows you to do right now is to run some arbitrary Lua script code from a save game data. And right now, all we've really kind of seen out of that is a bunch of different kind of pop-ups that come out of it. But when some more news breaks, I'll definitely let you know. Well, anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you got something out of this, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!